This is a graph theory question. We have been given a graph G, which is undirected, unweighted, and connected. And for this graph G, they are defining its diameter as the following expression: max of u comma v element of v means there are two vertices u and v taken from the vertex set of this graph G. So for that, what are they taking? The max of length of shortest path between u and v, which means we will take up every possible pair of vertices from the graph and between those two vertices we will find out the shortest path and among all the shortest paths we get we will take the maximum one for example let us consider this particular graph it is having five vertices and it is all undirected unweighted as well as connected so in this graph if we consider the vertex set a and b then what is the shortest path between them it is simply a to b and its length is 1 so we got the 1 over here now let us consider e and c together so between e and c what is the shortest path there are two paths e a b c and e d c but we'll go with the shorter one that is e d c the length of this path is 2 so we have got the next shortest path is as 2 Similarly, if we take any other pair, let us say A and D, again we will get 2. And if we take any adjacent vertices, then we will get 1. So for this graph, what is the maximum that we are getting? It is 2. So between any two vertices of this graph, the maximum length of the shortest path between those two vertices is 2. Hence, for this particular graph, the diameter will be so now what do we have to do they have said that m is the adjacency matrix of g so for the graph which is under consideration m is its adjacency matrix and now they're defining a new graph g2 on the same set of vertices with adjacency matrix n so there is another graph g2 having adjacency matrix as n and how is that n defined it is defined as 1 if mig is greater than 0 or pig is greater than 0. What is this mig? It is an element of the adjacency matrix M. And what about pig? It is an element of the matrix P where P is defined as M squared. Which means we will have a graph G corresponding to it there will be an adjacency matrix M and we will multiply it with itself m cross m that will give us p which is nothing but m square and then using both m and p we will construct a new adjacency matrix that will be n and this n will correspond to the new graph g2 so that is what they are saying if mij is positive or pig is positive then nij will be one otherwise zero so now what do we have to do is first we have to get this matrix n and then using that matrix we have to construct this graph g2 and then they are asking us about the diameter of that new matrix g2 so how will we approach this question if we try to do it theoretically then it would be difficult to visualize so we can better take some examples but the thing is we cannot consider bigger graphs because if we had taken the same example then it is a five cross five adjacency matrix that will be resulting out of it and handling such big matrices would be difficult so we would go with graphs with just two or three vertices so we have considered this particular graph there are other choices such as this graph or simply with two vertices or a disconnected graph with two vertices so those are the different choices we can have and we can perform the same operation for all of them and verify so let us do it using this particular graph so here we can see it is a, having three vertices a b and c and this is our graph g what would be the diameter for this particular graph if we consider a and c together then this is the shortest path between them which is having a length 2 so for this 
graph the diameter will be 2 and what will be the adjacency matrix for this graph that is given over here as m a b c are taken and the rows and columns which are vertices and then they are one if there exists a path direct path between those two vertices otherwise it is taken as zero so we have constructed this matrix m and then multiplying m by itself will give us m squared or what we call as p and that has been already created over here and we get the entries in it as 101 020 and 101 so now we have got both m as well as m square that is p so using them now we can construct the new adjacency matrix that is n and how will we construct this one for every corresponding element we will check if either mij is 1 or pij is 1 so for this first element we got one from this p for the next one we got from m for third element again from p so as it can be seen there are four ones in this m that contribute to the corresponding ones in n and there are these other four ones over here and what about this two it is said that it must just be positive not necessarily one so even if we are getting a two from this pij corresponding to b and b which means p b b is two two is greater than zero so it will imply that n b b will also be one and that is how we construct this entire graph and it turns out to be all ones so this is the adjacency matrix that we have got corresponding to the graph g2 and now looking at this what can we say about g2 what kind of graph will it be every node is connected to every other node in this so we can call such graph as a complete graph if we construct this particular graph g2 then it would be something like this a b c and also there are kind of self loops because a to a b to b and c to c are also connected and every node is connected to every other node so for this particular graph what can we say about its diameter if we take any two pair of vertices a b b c or a c there is a direct path between them and that is the shortest path itself having a length one so diameter of g2 will also become one so what did we get for g diameter was two and for g2 diameter was one so now considering this let us have a look at the options first one is saying diameter of g2 is less than or equal to ceiling of half of diameter of g which means one less than equal to half of two that is one and seal of one which is again one so one less than equal to one yes it is true let's also check other ones this one is saying half of that means one less than one this is wrong third one is diameter of g2 that is one equal to diameter of g2 this is also incorrect and similarly the last one it is saying two less than one that is wrong as well so we will be going with the first option in the same way we can take any other graph having less than or equal to three vertices and verify for that as well and we will be getting the same result so the correct answer for this question would be the first option